Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today, I'm going to be testing the all new G Miner version 2.75 with its significant improvements for LHR card unlocking mining Ethereum. I'm going to be testing all six cards. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me. Let's get started. This is the first time we're covering the G Miner on our channel, and I'm really excited to be making a video about it. Oftentimes, I'll test different tools or miners on my own time, but unless they have something really significant or value to offer, I don't bother making a video about it. We try to make stuff that can hopefully help our channel if it's innovative or cutting edge or really, really makes a difference. But this new version of Gminer 2.75 definitely has the merit to be that. I'm waiting for NB Miner or T-Rex hopefully to come out with some new updates. I very, very openly welcome this new update from Gminer 2.75. It has major performance improvements for LHR GPUs, improved auto tuning, but they also up their dev fee now to 1%. I guess they want to be price competitive. They feel maybe they're developing this new LHR technology. They want to be compensated the same as the other miners are. That's fair enough. And Gminer also has a wealth of other features, including support for mining other altcoins as well as AMD cards. But we're going to be covering that in a totally separate video. Today, we're just going to be focusing exclusively on using the latest Gminer 2.75 in Windows mining with our LHR cards. Now, if you're a Hive user, I just got my SSDs and I know I've been promising I'm going to be covering Gminer as well as some of the other miners in Hive very, very shortly. So we're just redoing our LHR rig. So definitely stay tuned. But if you want to try some of these in Hive, you could probably use the same settings, just double the memory overclock settings. So if I say it's 1300 in Windows, it would be the equivalent of 2600 in Hive OS. But enough talking, let's get into our tests. For my testing of the latest G Miner version 2.75 that was just released within the past day, I'm going to be using NVIDIA Driver 496.49. And if you followed our channel, you'll know that choosing the correct video driver definitely makes a big difference in your hash rate, your efficiency, as well as the number of LHR locks you're getting on your card. But I'm really getting great numbers. This is the first time we're actually covering the G Miner, and that's because I'm getting really good results, I feel, with this card as far as the hash rate as well as the efficiency. So to kick it off, let's start start looking at our first card. It's a RTX, it's a 3060 V2. This is my MSI Gaming X Trio card. This card has got a lot of cooling. It's really thick. It looks more like a 3080 in its size and form factor. It's just a 3060, but using a locked core clock of 1500 and a memory clock offset of 1300, I was getting really great results out of the card. 36.8 mega hash, very consistent and very stable with this card, as well as it seemed to be running quite fine and I was able to get a pretty high value from my LHR as well. For my next card, I'm going to be testing the Zotac RTX 3060 Ti. This is my white Zotac card, but it has Hynix memory, which limits me of how high I can go. The highest I'm ever able to typically overclock it is up to a plus 1,025. Beyond that, the card just crashes, so I'm not a fan of Hynix memory. With that all in account, using a locked core clock of 1440, and a memory clock offset of 1,025, I was getting really good results out of the card. I was able to get 44.7 mega hash with a 0.344 efficiency. My next card I'm going to be testing is one of my favorite LHR cards. This is my EVGA RTX 3070 LHR card. It's the XC3 model. I was using a locked core clock of 1,080 and a memory clock offset of 1,300, and that gave me really great results. I was getting 46.2 mega hash. I was only using 100 103 watts showing in the miner. So I had a 0.449 efficiency, which is fantastic, especially given this is an LHR card. But my next card I'm going to be testing, it's a Founders Edition. It's the RTX 3070 Ti. This is the LHR, but it's a little overachiever. Although it's a very budget card, it's giving me great results. I use a locked core clock of 975. That's right, only 975, a memory clock offset of plus 1500. And I was getting really great results. I was getting 60.2 mega hash with a 0.348 efficiency. I was getting very stable results and using an LHR value of 73.6. My next card I tested was RTX 3080. 
EVGA, the XC3, it's a light hash rate card. I used a locked core clock of 1440, a memory clock offset of plus 1600, and I was getting really great results out of the card. 77.5 mega hash with a 0.330 efficiency, which could have been a little bit better, but I opted to get the higher hash rate. I dialed the card to run a little bit higher to get that additional hash rate, but it ran great, and my temperatures held up really great too. When I look on the minor screens, I can see that this card was running at only only 88 degrees Celsius. That's really fantastic in my opinion. The last card I tested was my EVGA for the win. It's the RTX 3080 Ti card. This is a great card with great cooling. And if you know from my past videos, I've gotten some amazing results. So this one was really great to put it to the challenge. I used a lock core clock of 1410. My memory clock offset was 1500. That's right, I could go as high as 1500 because if you see on the minor, I was running with only about a 78 degrees Celsius was my temperature, which is fantastic. That's running really, really cool. And I believe part of that is because I'm running my LHR rig in a cool environment. It's winter time where I am. So I'm trying to take advantage of some of that cool out or air letting that come in and vent into my LHR rig. And I'm getting great results and great hash rates. Mainly the rig is staying very, very cool. With these overclocks, I was getting 91.2 mega hash with a 0.358 efficiency. These are great mining results. And I've been running this all night long on different mining segments and I was getting fantastic results all in all. I'm just really pleased that I was able to get a really good results out of G Miner this time. So this seems like a huge step forward for us as miners. Now we have an additional contender to deal with. G Miner is definitely following right up with some of the other big boy miners like T Rex as well as MB Miner. And we should go take a look at that. I'm getting great results on the miner, but let's take a look at how it looks inside a flex pool because that's where I'm mining. I put in my wallet address there. Wow, I'm actually seeing ported hash rate is 356. However, my current effective hash rate is 433. If I look back at the miner, I see G miner is giving me 356, which is consistent with what I'm seeing is reported, but I'm actually getting my effective hash rate is actually much higher right now. I haven't run this for a full 24 hour period yet. I don't have the 24 hour average, but wow, I seen this, uh, I guess in this last hour or so, I have definitely see the number of accepted shares peak. I have a really high number. My current effective hash rate is 433, even though the rig's only 356. I'm sure it'll come back down in a short amount of time. You always want to make sure that your mining pool is showing results that are pretty similar to what you reported from the miner. This way, at least you know that accurate numbers that you're getting from the miner are still going to be the same in the pool because the pool is ultimately what decides the hash rate that you're going to be paid at. Although I've gotten some great results out of G minor, let's take a look at it in summary. I was able to get 36.8 mega hash out of my 3060, 44.7 out of my 3060 Ti, 46.2 with a 0.449 efficiency out of my 3070 LHR. My 3070 Ti gave me 60.2. My 3080 LHR gave me 77.5. And my 3080 Ti was giving me great results with 91.2 with really, really low temperatures, often below 80 degrees Celsius. Now, how does that stack up against some of the other miners? Well, let's take a look at a recent uh, NB miner. So we see NB miner 40.1. The only difference is though too, is we were using a different driver for this. We're using 496.49 with G miner and I was using 471.96 with uh, NB miner 401. But wow, look at these results. They're almost identical in so many ways. 36.8, 44. Actually, I think G minor looks like it has this slight edge. I'm coming in with some a little bit of higher hash rates as well as my efficiency numbers are really, really great. So this is the first time I've ever seen G minor come nearly surpassing NB minor 40.1, but we're gonna be doing some more tests with uh, the other driver 496.49 in NB minor. And I know the one you're all waiting for. It's my favorite minor, T-Rex. How does G minor 2.75 stack up against T-Rex minor 24.8? Now taking a look at T-Rex, wow, we see these results are really close, but T-Rex definitely has the edge with some of these cards. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm getting some higher results from hash rate out of G minor 2.75, but I believe that's in part two. I'm using the colder weather to my advantage to run that memory overclock a little bit higher. So I'm looking at 91.2 mega hash in G minor versus 91.8, 77.5 mega hash versus 76.4 in T-Rex, 60.2 versus 61.4, 46.2 versus 47.1, 44.7 mega hash versus 45.7, 
36.8 versus 37.4. T-Rex is definitely coming out, I believe, a little bit on top overall with this, but they're really, really close. But the main difference is, is that I'm using higher memory overclocks on G minor. So I'm going to be taking another look at T-Rex 24.8 using that same aggressive setting for the memory overclocks, considering I have the cool weather right now to see if I can come up. These are really, really fantastic results. I'm really excited, mostly because now we have a third solid candidate in there for LHR miners. So it gives us more mining potential, and more opportunities as these miners keep progressing. I'm hoping for some new miners coming from NB Miner or T-Rex really, really soon. I'm waiting and it just hasn't happened yet. So I was really happy and surprised to see G Miner come out with this new one. And it's definitely did a great job. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Happy mining.